Today I'm solving all my worst Rubik's Cubes from 2x2 two two to 7x7, seven seven, except 6x6, six six, and you'll find out why later. So we're starting off with the Ishin 2x2. Two two. This actually wasn't my first 2x2. Two two. Uh, my first 2x2 two two was actually a big soft 2x2. Two two. Uh, I bought an Ishin 2x2, two two, uh, dropped it and broke it, and then bought this one. The next cube we're solving is my worst 3x3 three three speed cube, which is the YJ Guanlong. This is actually not too bad. I just don't have any terrible speed cubes. There's like a bunch of center caps missing from here and here and they pop out a lot, so I hope I'm solving this right. Oh, green center cap just fell out. Oh, you see? I'm just gonna put the center caps back in when I solve it. So yeah, this one's actually not too bad because this is a speed cube and I used this as my main for a long time. My actual worst 3x3 is this tiny one that is like a dollar store cube or something. I bought it for, I think, a birthday party. If you could see here, there's like purple and pink stickers that look very, very similar. And I don't know why they did that. Oh, you see, I put in uh, an F2L pair wrong because this sticker here is actually a different color than this sticker in the center. Okay, I'm gonna OLL. And okay, good, I have a T perm, so it's not that bad. Just gonna take 10 seconds to do it because of, you know, the quality of this cube. Done. And now for the 4x4. This is a very beaten up Rubik's 4x4. This was actually the first 4x4 I've ever owned. The second or third cube I ever learned how to solve after the 3x3 and 2x2. Oh, it locks up a ton. And also it has this weird thing where like the center caps will kind of pop out halfway. And you just need to press them back in. Oh, oh, I have a big lock up here. Okay. I'm just gonna pop a piece back in place and then I can turn it again. Also, this cube is much larger than a lot of standard 4x4s, and I got parity. Great. I'm sure you could also tell how loud this cube is, probably just from all the popping stuff out and back into place. And a G perm. So this solve isn't very lucky, I guess. Okay, done. Now my fingers are like greasy from all the excess lube I put in here. The 5x5 is probably my worst turning cube out of this whole thing. Somehow I can still finger trick it, but not too much. But this is going to be the one I'm least looking forward to. Okay, white center done. Oh man, this cube is hard to turn. Okay, we're done with centers. And actually the story of how I got this 5x5, I got another 5x5 that actually broke, like a corner piece actually like broke off of it. So I got this one, and this is the cube I actually made one of my first ever unboxing videos on. It's not even on this channel, but I made an unboxing video of it when I was literally like nine years old. Finally on 3x3 stage. Okay, it's actually turning out to be a pretty lucky solve. It's just an easier solve than normal. But it's still taking a long time to use this cube. Oh look, it's probably one of the best PLs you can get, the J-Perm. Okay, now onto the final cube here, the 7x7. Now this was actually my main 7x7 up until very recently when I got the Soleritas MGC, I think, 7x7. But yeah, this cube isn't nearly as bad as all the Rubik's brands I've solved, so this is actually kind of easy to turn by comparison. But it's not the greatest cube ever. Oh, we can't try it again and again. Yeah, I got this a very long time ago. When I got moderately fast, not even fast, but just like, you know, pretty decent at 5x5, five five, I got a 6x6. Six six. And when I got pretty decent at 6x6, six six, I got a 7x7. Seven seven. And I haven't gotten an 8x8 eight eight yet. Uh, I just have the WCA line of puzzles. But who knows, I might get a bigger cube like that in the future. Oh yeah, and speaking of big cubes, I forgot to tell you why I don't have my 6x6 six six there. I have one 6x6 six six speed cube, but the one bad 6x6 six six I have, I broke in a previous video. Oh, I got a pop, which I usually never get pops on this 7x7, seven seven, but I guess I got one today. I'm gonna move this out of the way so you can see better. Okay, we're in the last stretch of the solve. We have final two edges, and then three by three stage. And done. So I finally finished all these cubes in the amount of time you see up here. Make sure to like this video and subscribe for more Cuban content like this, and I'll see you in my next video.